Hi, I'm Andy Hines. I've been a professional futurist for the last 35 years, and I'm currently head of the Foresight Graduate Program at the University of Houston. Imagining after capitalism is the culmination of a decade-long exploration of what com might come next after capitalism. It's been said that it's easier to imagine the end of the world than the end of capitalism. I hope this book can persuade you otherwise. There are, indeed, alternatives. A key inspiration for this topic was one of the first books I read about the future, Fred Pollock's 1973, The Image of the Future. He found a common element linking the most successful civilizations of the past is that they were guided by a positive, aspirational image of the future. He lamented their absence when he wrote the book, and today, 50 years later, we are still lacking such guiding images. A key purpose of this work is to fill that gap. The search for guiding images is particularly urgent as today's dominant capitalist system is disintegrating. I was not convinced of this when I began the research more than a decade ago, but I am now. Uh, that said, I do not demonize capitalism in the book, as I think it just shuts down discussion. Fair to say, it did its job, but it is no longer a good fit with the emerging future. The research suggests a plausible time frame for this transformation at 20 to 30 years from now. There is a lot of work to do right now. I'm actually concerned that capitalism might collapse too fast before we are ready with an alternative. I use the University of Houston's framework foresight methodology to guide the research. Seven drivers of change emerge from the horizon scanning, from the research, from the more than dozens of books that are uh, exploring topics relevant to the future after capitalism. There are indeed lots of ideas out there about a post-capitalist future. My task here was to pull them together. So the research revealed three guiding images that, that fit with Pollock's call. An environmentally driven circular commons expands the concept of sustainability to embrace circular principles. It's part of a social, political, and economic commons informed by an environmental stewardship ethic. A socially and politically driven image is the non-worker's paradise, a play on the attributed to Marxist idea of a worker's paradise, with the key idea being a post-work future. A technologically driven theme is tech-led abundance, which centers on the potential for tech progress to drive the creation of abundance of wealth that resolves the core distribution problem ingrained in capitalism. The book devotes a chapter to each image going into detail on what life might look like in each future, whether it's the possibility of degrowth, something like universal basic income or AI driven automation. The goal is to paint a picture of what those futures might look like and how we might get there. So in closing, the book offers an alternative to the prevailing doom and gloom and suggests that there are indeed positive alternatives out there and it's time to get started on crafting a different past to the future. I hope you'll enjoy the book.